Hello guys, welcome back to your channel. On today's video, we are going to install the BC Racing, this bug right here, coilovers onto my E36 project car. Yes, finally it's that time. Let's go. If you are tuning in for the first time, thank you for stopping by my channel. Make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and browse the channel for other videos that I have on the channel. I do a lot of DIY on this car, this F80 M3, or any previous car that I've had in the past. So feel free to browse the channel and you will see great content in there. Now, if you remember closely, one of my previous video, I mentioned that I upgraded my suspension. Well, it was more like a temporary fix because I put some max spinning rod on the front right here and I have um, the factory Bilstein uh, shocks but I have the BC coilovers springs on the back. So it's really kind of bouncy, I don't like the fitment and I saw this deal on the forum and I could not pass on it. Yes, BC coilovers, this set right here is used and I purchased it for someone and he drove the car about 500 miles and decided to go with a more stiffer racing type uh, suspension. So he put it on sale and hey, I jump on it. So let's go ahead and review first this like in the box on the quality and things like that and then we'll go ahead and install it on the car. The process to install is pretty pretty simple. I'll go ahead and show you that in a second. As I mentioned earlier, the previous owner of this suspension used it for about 500 miles. Now this looks fairly new and it is actually new to me because 500 miles is honestly nothing and when I made a deal, really what made me jump is the fact that it came with this plate that will actually help reinforce um, my front strut tower and on the back also. So I already have one on the front, it's actually inside here, you can't really see, but on the back I didn't have anyone. It's true that I have the strut brace right here on the back, that also kind of help in terms of adding stiffness here and also making sure that this doesn't break because this is an issue that happens to this car a lot right here and on the back. I'm going to show those things whenever um, we are doing the changes on this side. But if we have to talk about the quality, these suspension are great quality, man. Look at the build. It is looking really, really nice. And this one have adjustable dampening right here, so you can go soft and hard. And yeah, man, this is looking pretty, pretty nice. Now, this one did come with the sway bar end links. From factory, it also comes with that. So as you can see right here, you have the sway bar end links. So that's it, man. This is a fairly new uh, set of coilovers. So let's go ahead and start installing that right away. If you have a strut brake like myself, you have to remove it first. Now by removing it, you don't have to remove this piece. For now, you can remove only this portion. Then at a later time, you can remove this bolt right here. For me, this one is a 15. This one is a 17. This is the ECS tuning strut brace. Then I will remove this portion and then after that i can move to the next step the second thing you want to do here if you are starting from the front is to go ahead and remove these cables this is the wheel speed sensor this is the brake line so we want to go ahead and remove it from this housing right here and after we do that we will, i will show you the next step now there are a few bolts that we have to remove right here the first one is this one on the other side of the shock right here not sure if you can see where my finger is right here under there there is another one of these bolt this is 18 millimeters so we have to remove one here one there and you also have to remove this one this is also an 18 millimeter to remove this one you put your socket right here and you put your wrench on this side to avoid the wheel spinning you remove these three bolts and then this will be secure now you also have to remove the end links now there are two ways you can do that if you want to keep your factory and links then you can remove it from the top here now the bc callover comes with shorter uh, sway bar end links so i want to remove this and replace this sway bar end links so what i'm going to do is actually remove it from the bottom right here and again this is a 16 millimeter so I'll go ahead and remove one two three and the fourth bolt right here and that's going to pretty much remove the caliper assembly from the shocks then before i remove this last bolt because i'm going to do this one last i'm going to support the caliper right here with my floor jack just to make sure that it doesn't drop and be hanged by that brake line then after that we are going to come here on the top remove these and the coilover will simply drop so let's go ahead and remove one 
I mean one, two, the sway bar endings and this one right here last. Now one thing I also want to point out when removing the sway bar endings is that if you are jacking your car only on one side because right now I have my car as you can see is level. If you are jacking on one side then you want to go ahead and remove the sway bar and leak on both sides before doing anything else. Now if you have your car level the way I have it right now you will not have that problem. You can remove one side and then do the other side and they won't be affected because they are level and then the sway bar will not have any play. So let me go ahead and remove these three then uh, remove the sway bar and links and then show you the next process. One thing I would like to point out is that to remove these two bolts is good if you can tilt the axle this way so that you have a good clearance here and then when you want to do the one on the back you turn it the other way and then you remove that. So as you can see right now I remove this bolt, these two bolts and then the sway bar, you can see the sway bar is dingling on that side. So what I'm going to do right now is also uh, remove the one on the top but before I do that you see how I secure the rotors right here with a floor jack. Now here I will come here and remove these three bolts. These are 13 millimeters and then after I remove that when I'm removing the last one actually I will go ahead and hold this way so that everything just doesn't drop and then slowly lower the rotors then remove the coilover that way. Pretty simple. I'll go ahead now and raise the rotor just so that the brake line is not hanging. Just like so and then I can go ahead and now install the new one. I went ahead and adjusted the camber because I wanted my camber to be like in the middle right here. I adjusted that. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount this. I also mounted the end link right here. I left some place so that uh, when I put it to the sway bar, it's easy enough for me to adjust then I can type everything later. Now to install is pretty much the reverse process of everything we did here. So what you do is you take this when you install you want to make sure that the camber position is this way. So when you put it up there make sure that it's facing this way. As you can see it kind of aligned with the holes when you look at it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it that way and then put the 13 here after I install the support for the strut brace that you can see right here on top. And then after that, once this is secure, I go ahead and mount everything here. I'm going to show you that process at that point. So, but installing is pretty much the opposite of everything we just completed here for this side. Now that you have the suspension mounted and secure as you can see right here, it's now the time to go ahead and wrap all the cables, make sure that they actually go properly. Like for example, this uh, speed sensor, it's supposed to come around this way. And then these two bolts right here are gonna be going right here. And this piece right here is gonna come up there. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and use the jack to kind of lift this whole assembly mount these two together and also the sway bar end link is going to go in that hole right there on the sway bar and after you mount all of that put all the cables back in these holes that's it installation on the front is completed let me go ahead and do all of that and then after that show you the finished product once you completed it should look something like this one now the final job on the front really is really to adjust the height but to do that first i want to put the tires drop the car see how you know how tall or low it is measure and all of that probably i'm going to do that tomorrow because i'm doing this at night it's maybe around 1 a.m right now so i hope i have to go ahead and start on the back the back is fairly simple let's go ahead and start tackling that as i mentioned earlier if you have a strut brace on the back like myself you also have to remove this one right here at the top so that you can free this portion right here so these bolts are 13 millimeters but we are not going to remove them right now first what we want to do is to remove the bottom 
of the shark tower so which is right here we want to remove this bolt right here and this is an 18 millimeter so once we remove this bolt right here then we come on the inside of the trunk remove this 213 millimeter and that will free these sharks and after that you can remove that once the shark is removed if you want to remove the spring pretty much you just apply some pressure right here and then that will give you a little bit of play to go ahead and remove this but since i mentioned in, in a previous video that these are already bc callovers things so i'm going to keep this right here i'm not going to change these springs because these are the same ones that come with bc coilovers and this was actually a, um, a factory stuff from BC Callover. So I'm going to remove this 18 right here, then remove the 213 that are, you know, these two bolts right here. Replace this shark tower with the BC version right here, and the job on my end will be done. Now, on your end, what you will have to do also is to make sure you put some pressure here to swap the springs. On my end, I am not going to swap it because these are already BC. You can see right now how there's a little bit of play. Once I change this, I will raise it up a little bit, then I won't have any play like that because this is definitely not good. Let me go ahead and now remove this, remove the top and show you how it is. Now that we have mounted the strut and the coilover, I have to finish that part right there as you can see. But I've put the reinforcement plate right here it's starting to crack a little bit so i have to find a way to address that before it is too late but the plate right here is definitely going to help in the longevity of that shark tower now last thing to do is really to put that 18 millimeter bolt this way so that it can go to that tower as you can see if you're doing this job yourself you have to use a jack to kind of help hold this section when you are screwing on the top right there all right so let me go ahead now and put the 18 mil back in here and the job is done for me on the back here. Once you mount that 18 millimeter, this is kind of how it's going to look, and that's it. Job is done here. Now all the thing I have to do is adjust the height, but as I mentioned, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So see you in a second. Today's a new day, and what we have to do now, since we have the coilovers installed, is pretty much mount the tires, right, wheels and tires, um, remove the cars from jack roll the car back and forward so that it can sit on the height that is going to be now it is true that after a week or so the car will settle but i kind of want to play with the right height a little bit just to have a good start now after that one is settled that's really it's where i'm going to have the final look and maybe if i have to make adjustment do it again at that point so right now what i'm going to do is just go ahead and put back all the tires you know roll the car on the back forward and play with the adjustment you saw how i installed the bc coilovers i uh, went and also did the right right high adjustment and test drove it it's nice it rubbed just a tiny bit on the back so i probably we have to do you know the rear camber arm replacement with one that you can actually adjust so when i do that that would definitely eliminate the small rubbing that i have on the back but for now it is cool i love the rear height it's definitely stiffer than before it is no longer bouncy and i love it i love it so i'm really happy that i got a chance to install these bc coilovers onto this car all right this is the end of the video if you like everything that i have come up done today please make sure that you put any comment like and also subscribe i have other videos about this car f80 and uh, some previous car that i used to have in the past and i have <laughs> something outside that i just don't want to show you yet so if you want to know what's outside stick it subscribe and make sure that um you watch every sunday because i drop videos every sunday yeah now again Stay blessed and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.